Welcome to the Entrepreneur's Accounting Academy Finance and Accounting Tutorial Series. EAA is an accounting and finance school that has been providing trainings for almost four years now to small and medium scale enterprises and large corporations in the Philippines. Today, we will discuss financial analysis. People and organizations use financial statements for a variety of reasons. Creditors refer to financial statements because they would like to come up with a decision on whether to grant loans or not to their prospective customers. Suppliers and distributors would like to take a look at financial statements because they would like to come up with a decision on whether to grant loans or credit to prospective customers. Managers and employees of an organization sometimes refer to financial statements because it is on the basis of the financial performance of the organizations or corporations that they are working with that they are rewarded. Shareholders, on the other hand, would like to know if their investments are doing well. Potential investors would also like to know if these companies or these organizations are worth investing in. Accountants, bookkeepers, and people who are in charge in the preparation of financial statements usually prepare three basic financial statements. You have the balance sheet, you have the income statement, and a statement of cash flows. Understanding of these three basic financial statements is very important in financial analysis. The balance sheet shows us the financial position or condition of the company as of a certain point in time. The income statement, on the other hand, shows the profitability position of the company over a certain period of time. And the statement of cash flows shows to us the cash position of the company as of a certain point in time. Financial analysis requires that an accountant or bookkeeper or whoever is in charge in the analysis of these financial statements must have a basic or fundamental grasp of these three basic financial statements. A company or a business entity would compare its financial performance vis-a-vis -vis its past performance or historical records. Another point of comparison would be a company is going to compare its performance against industry averages. Another point of comparison would be a company or a business entity would like to compare its performance against its competitors. And lastly, a company would like to compare its performance against the best in the industry and we call that benchmarking. In financial analysis, one of the most commonly used tool is ratio analysis. Ratios can be basically classified into four categories. The first category is liquidity. Now, in liquidity analysis, we try to analyze whether the assets that the company pool can be easily converted into cash or the nearness of the assets to cash. We would also like to take a look on whether the company or the organization would be able to pay its short-term obligations. The next classification of ratios is turnover or activity ratios. Turnover or activity ratios measures the ability of the company to convert its current accounts into cash. How fast the company is able to convert its current accounts into cash, like for example, inventory and receivables. The third classification of ratios is leverage or financing ratios. The ability of the company to pay both its short-term and long-term obligations are measured. Like for example, banks or creditors are particularly interested in leverage and financing ratios because they would like to know if their debtors or prospective debtors would be able to pay their obligations. 
And the last general classification of ratios is what we call profitability or performance ratios. In profitability or performance ratios, the profitability position or condition of the company is measured. It measures how profitable the company is over a certain period of time. That's all for our accounting tutorial series today. In our next meeting, I will be providing sample calculations and examples so that we would better understand these ratios. If you want to be updated always with our video tutorial and schedules of our trainings and seminars, please subscribe to our newsletter. Thank you and see you again in our next video tutorial.